And the next application that is free that I like a lot is also open source, and it's called Audacity. Um, this is a free, simple audio recorder and um, editor. Uh, it's nothing fancy, as far as I know. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff you can do with it that I don't know of. But just as a demo, I'll just record a little bit. Hello. As you can see, it shows you that you recorded it. And when you play it back... Hello. Uh, it sounds good. And you can select something, delete it. Uh, I think there's more to it than that. You can add special effects and stuff like that. It's great if you're working with a lot of audio files, and I highly suggest it for you. One thing that I like a lot about my Mac operating system is some of the customability. And one thing that I like to customize a lot is the dock, which is a very essential part of, of a Mac operating system. So you can see here, uh, some stuff is different, the indicators to tell whether the application is on is a little bit different and the, some of the icons itself I've changed. Um, I've done this mostly through two applications and they're both free as far as I know. Uh, one is Super Docker and the other is Pimp My Dock. Um, Pimp My Dock uh, is mainly for if you have uh, a background file or something like that you can drag it on here as it says um, and then just apply it sort of like leopard docs app which I think I've talked about before um, I think you can also uh, import your own file if you make one you can import it and make it your default doc background um, it works very well I haven't ran into any problems with it and if you like to customize your doc like me then definitely go ahead and try it the other app is super docker which uh, has me has much more options to it for customability, where the other one was very straightforward and only really had one uh, one option to it, which was just changing the background and the indicators. In this, you can play around with a lot of stuff, and I found it sort of easier uh, for for a lot of things, and it works very well. So you can change the dock style like right now it's 3D which is part of leopard it makes it 3D and the other one and you can make it 2D so it sort of brings back like the tire feel uh, which is OS X 10.4 leopard is 10.5 so it's the previous version um, you can do a lot of stuff like alignment uh, which you can do in system preferences but this sorta of just makes it easier and it's not just the dock you can play around with other applications you can do system changes so like when you capture a screenshot you can change what um, what format it is saved to it's a great application it took me a while to download um, I guess the site I downloaded off of wasn't that it might, either was a lot of people are downloading it or something like that so if you have trouble just let your computer sit and download it and see it as long as it takes it's definitely worth it uh... the next app uh... is is an app called liquid mac and this is free along with all the other ones and this uses the accelerometers in your macbook or i think it works with an imac or most recent mac computers and it tells um where like if it's tilted or something so if I tilt my MacBook to the left you see all the beads sorta of flow to the left and if I tilt it to the right they all tilt to the right this is really fun to play around with maybe to impress your friends because they won't know what the hell is going on thank you for watching and please visit my website at howtofourcomputers.com Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and while you're there, check out a couple of my other videos. Thank you.